If you've ever visited a website in Chrome on your Android device, then you may have noticed the text on some pages can be too small for you to read comfortably. Even if you change the font size within the settings application, that does not translate to web pages that you're viewing in Chrome. But thankfully there's a way to adjust the size of the text for a specific website within Chrome, and it's actually pretty easy to find. Although, if you find that you're doing this for all of the websites that you visit, then be sure to stay tuned toward the end of this video, as I can show you a universal setting that can adjust the font size within Chrome for every website that you visit. Today, I'll be showing you how to increase or decrease the size of text in a website for Chrome on Android but I don't think that it's labeled very intuitively. It does make sense once you know what the feature does, but I actually assumed that it would only bring up a small magnifying glass rather than adjusting the size of the text within a website. The first thing you need to do is load up a web page within Chrome on Android with any smartphone or tablet. Then, we're going to tap on this little three dot menu icon in the top right corner here that some people call the kebab menu. Then you're going to want to look for the zoom feature within this drop down menu. All you need to do is tap on zoom and you'll see this user interface element appear on the screen. So from here we can adjust the text size by tapping on the plus or minus. We're going to also do tap and slides to adjust this text size. And we can reset it back to the default at any time. Once you find a text zoom size that you're comfortable with, just wait a few seconds and that UI element will fade away. Now you can read your favorite websites more comfortably and you'll be happy to hear that this change carries over to any other pages that you load for this specific website. You're basically going to be creating a font size rule for this domain and Chrome will remember this anytime you visit that site in the future. The steps that I just mentioned are a great way to adjust the size of text for a specific website but you'll notice that it doesn't change anything for other websites. I appreciate this as each website tends to use their own font size and I like to see that this feature works just like it does on desktop. But if you would rather adjust the text size on all of your websites, then you'll need to dive into the settings area of Chrome on Android. So we're gonna tap that three dot menu icon again you may need to scroll down this list so that you can find the settings option and tap it. Then on this page, we're gonna scroll down a little bit until you find the accessibility option. Now, at the top of this page, we have the default zoom setting. This will be set to 100%, but just like before, we can change this to a specific zoom level and you'll even get a preview right here showing you what that font size will end up looking like. Again, you can adjust this so that the text is smaller and you're decreasing the size, but I find most people end up using this to increase the size. So if you find yourself adjusting the size of text within Chrome on Android for many sites that you visit, then it may be better to find this setting in the accessibility menu and adjust things to your preferred font size from here. You can still increase or decrease the size for each website you visit and Chrome will remember those changes. But it can save you a lot of time by changing this setting here rather than doing it on a site by site basis. As mentioned earlier, I'm not a big fan of Google labeling this feature Zoom from within its overflow menu. It's not the worst name for it, 
but I do think it could be changed to something like text or text size and then show a small icon next to it that will help to reinforce what the feature actually does. But I do like how Google has programmed the feature for Chrome on Android. Too many times I've been left wondering why a website has chosen to display its text too small or even too large for a smartphone. So it's a good idea to know about this feature and to learn how it works. Now, if you have any questions about this guide or just about Android in general, then feel free to use the comment section down below. And please do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.